You've heard of him, you've seen his crazy personality, you've felt his energy. Gary Vaynerchuk is one of the most polarizing people out today. He's an entrepreneur who first got his start trading baseball cards back in elementary school. From there, he started working for his family's wine company, and in no time, he took that over and proceeded to double their sales in record time. Now he runs his own media agency and helps to motivate thousands of hustlers and entrepreneurs to really go get it and crush it in their business and in life. Gary is someone I look up to a lot when it comes to confidence. When he talks, you listen. I've always been fascinated by how he's able to gain control of a room. It's absolutely amazing. But before we get to that, where are my manners? My name is Edwin Torres, and this is a potential new series here on Evan's channel where we analyze and break down the behaviors of some of the most successful people in history. In this video, I want to show you three powerful ways to command a room just like Gary Vaynerchuk. I've seen a lot of his videos and I've picked up on the subtle things he does below the surface that you can use to command more respect and authority. Let's get started. The first thing Gary does really well in conversation is he takes charge and becomes the leader of it. The idea of loving the failure, and that always I love getting punched right in the now. mouth. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. What is it about the failure that, that, love, that you love or I want to you? It, it makes me want to stick it to everybody who judged me when they judged my fail. And that's true, I like that part. Well that's it. I and like it, I, no, no, that. I actually love it. You just kind of like it. I remember like at one point I was maybe 19 or 20 and this is when I was starting to get fat. And I you was- You were fat? Oh yeah. Like real fat? Was uh, he fat when you guys met? Oh yeah. And you were like, this is a fat dude but I like him? I'm, I was about 60 yeah. pounds heavier. You look great now. Thank you, I appreciate that. I just got a personal trainer two months ago, or a month ago, sorry. And how long have you been rocking five o'clock shadow? Cause yours is good. Well, what percentage know. of guys do you think don't know who you are in that scenario? And by the way, I, why are you dating in the real world? What should I be dating? In the internet world, like the way you do everything else. No, I am. And that's, that's a well, that's brand that's very new. easy. You just put it in your bio. No, you, you're no. You don't, you don't have a convert. Nobody's swiping right and then saying, well, tell me about you. Like, they, they know. Um. Okay. Instead of going into a room and taking a secondary or submissive role, Gary makes it a point to put his own mark on the conversation. Some people can argue that this makes you come across as arrogant. You can make others think that you're just an intention seeker. So it's very, very, very important that you do this in a covert and subtle way. Here's how it's done. I like to call it value giving versus value taking. You have to become someone who always gives out value and good energy instead of just always expecting it back in return. Now that we brought up this concept of value, it's important that we define what value is. Value is the importance, worth, or usefulness of something. In the context of a conversation, value is what you tell someone that ends up having a positive effect on them. Or value can also be given through emotions. If someone makes you feel happy, motivated, energized, or any other range of feelings, then they're giving you value. A good way to gauge if someone is giving you value is to ask yourself, once you're done talking to them, how do I feel right now? Do I feel energized and vibrant? Or do I feel drained and bored? That's a good way to kind of check if they're giving you value or they're just trying to take it from you. If you notice in interviews, Gary is always a value giver. He's not afraid to make you laugh. He's not hesitant to give you a piece of business, life or relationship advice that could really put you on the right track and in the direction that you want to go in. Gary's just always trying to help people out. He is always giving out value. I give and have zero expectations. The chips will fall where they are. If it goes great, mazel tov. If not, I wasn't providing enough value. That's on me. I don't give, I'm not doing this interview for any other reason than I know that it's leverage for you and it's gonna put you on and you can use it for other shit that you wanna do. And you know how good that makes me feel? That's real life. If you got the right DNA and you're a 72 year old female, you have just as good of a bat as a 27 year old dude. But you've been trained and story told to and positioned and lived in a 50 year matter that doesn't feel like this thing in here is a practical way to build that, but it is. Since he's always giving out value, you love being around him and you just wanna to listen to whatever he has to say. 
let's talk about the next point. Another thing about Gary Vaynerchuk and what allows him to command the room is his body language. Fun fact, 93% of communication is all nonverbal. That means that the words you use or the part that everybody else thinks is the most important really only makes up about 7% of the entire conversation. The part that truly matters is your body language and your voice. You can tell me the most life-changing piece of information in the world, but if your body language is off, it's not going to have the same effect or impact that you wanted it to have. I want you to take a close look at Gary V and really check out his body language in this next clip. I think what I'm good at is building a pillar up top that creates content below. Daily V, Ask Gary V Show, right? And then all flows from there. Where did this quote come from? I don't know. You know, like somewhere along the way, yeah. that that's what's powerful. And I think you need to. I think one thing that people struggle with is they need. They think they need to. It needs to come from them, and it needs to come from the structure down instead of. Got it. And that's why you wake up and you're like, damn, I'm not feeling. Like, you know how hard it is to manifest that kind of original creative thing from the bottom. Yes. <laughs> but if you if you may, if you literally lived your life under. Show, think of yourself as like CNN or MSNBC. Monday is Odd Corner, that's it. Like if you whiteboarded now on like mini shows that you could do, Monday's Odd Corner, Tuesday's like subway shots, Wednesday's like suburbs. You're just literally going out. All right, what does he do well? He comes across present and engaged. He looks at ease. His body language is nice and open. It's not closed off and inward. He's also giving out strong eye contact and you can really feel that coming off from him. He also is projecting his voice. You can hear every single thing that he's saying. And all of these things put together makes him come across as a confident and strong communicator. But don't worry, these are all things that you can practice right now. Here's what I want you to do. The next person you speak to, I want you to do this. Be vulnerable with your body language. Make sure your arms and legs are nice and open. Don't put your hands inside your pocket. Make sure when you're walking, don't look down. Look up and directly ahead of you. The next thing, speak 15% louder. Make sure you project your voice and whatever you do, do not be shy, okay? Make sure you speak nice and loud because you, you right there, you watching this video right now, you deserve to be heard, so act like it. And the final tip, give people solid eye contact. You know when you're talking to someone and you feel the awkwardness and the tension rising and you just want to look away? Don't do it, okay? Hold that eye contact one or two seconds longer and trust me, it's going to have an amazing effect on how you come across to them. You're going to come across more confident and trustworthy and you're going to feel super good as well. And now let's talk about the last tip. If you want to command the room, then you have to be at the cause and not the effect. What does this mean? When you're at the cause, you're the influencing factor. You're the captain of your ship. You're taking charge. You're not letting things happen by chance. You're making things happen. When you're at the effect, you're letting things happen to you. You're taking a secondary role. You're letting things happen by chance. You're not really being in control and dominant and really going for what it is that you want. You're just like a leaf in the wind and wherever the wind blows, that's the direction that you're going to go in. Listen, instead of being worried about what other people might say or what they might not say or what they potentially could or maybe might not, maybe one day could potentially, maybe not, maybe yes, maybe no say, I want you to mentally decide that from this moment on, you're going to be at the cause and not the effect. I am tired of people not starting and living their life on one very simple thing, which is they're worried about what other people think, whether that's their mom, their friends, and worst of all, comments in social media. I mean, this is some sixth grade lunchroom sh**. Are you really, really, really not gonna live your life based on somebody's anonymous icon feedback that you suck? They suck. They're straight trash. That's why. I found a dumpster. What Gary does really well in these clips is you can see his passion for life. He doesn't let his excuses hold him back. He's not afraid to call other people out for their own BS. He's not hesitant or afraid to do whatever he wants to do. Gary doesn't care. He is at the cause and not the effect. Seriously, from now on, ask yourself, what do I feel like doing or saying right now? And then go do it. 
But the whole point of this tip is for you to start living a more authentic life. Don't do something just because someone else tells you to do it. Do it because you want to do it. That's the easiest way to live a happier and more fulfilled life. This will not only help you skyrocket your self-esteem, but it'll help other people become magnetically drawn to you. And there you have it. Those are my three biggest tips if you want to command the room just like Gary Vaynerchuk. Let's recap them really fast. Number one, become the leader of the conversation. Make sure you put your mark on it so people know exactly where you stand. Number two, practice strong and effective body language. That means looking people in the eye, projecting your voice, and being nice and open everywhere you go. Number three, be at the cause and not the effect. Do or say what you want to do or say without overthinking it. You're in control of your own life. If you like this video, make sure you leave a comment below. I'm always open to improve, so whatever feedback you have, I'm all ears. And also, let me know which one of these tips was your favorite. I love to know that too. I had fun, till next time. This is Edwin Torres from Next Level Confidence. Peace. Altruistic, world domination, honey empire, right? I'm grateful, I understand why I'm here. I think because I am so open. I wanted to think and see. It's a bloody brief life. All of you have the potential for enormous success. If you want to know what Gary V, DJ Khaled, Oprah, and others know about empire building that most people miss, check out the link in the description for a free bonus video.